We're going to be installing a new blind for our RV today. You can see this is what the window looks like from the outside. Steve's going to show you what it looks like on the inside, which I absolutely hate. Pillowcase with some clips and some Velcro, and we've got this cool new fancy thing that we're going to be showing off, and we're going to show the installation of it in just a few minutes. Um, we'll get the awning out so we can stay dry while we do this. It's from Zarcor. In a couple of videos of the blind and how it works on the window, you can make it work when the door is closed and there's obviously the screen door is in place by just sliding that plastic piece over. You can also get a replacement glass kit. I know we talked about taking the clear glass that's on the door and making it um, a tempered glass and giving it some more light and shade, but we decided not to. Um, as you see, it's, as he's unpacking, it's really simple. It's just this blind and the, um, be the control. Probably mount it than to get it out of the box. <laughs> I'm hoping that we only have to replace two or three screws. Um, we'll see what happens when we get it outside and we get the packaging open. Um, I think the first step is going to be taking that old ugly blue pillowcase down, yay, and then cleaning the glass. I guess the people that had the RV before us had something over the window that they held up with Velcro. So there is adhesive from the Velcro on the window frame, not on the window itself, not on the glass. So, you know, normally if it was on the glass, you take a flat razor, scrape it off, no big deal. But with uh, you know, on the frame, Steve's gonna do his magic WD-40. go inside and watch Steve figure this out. <clears throat> He's piecing it together and so you have this blind with the Velcro pieces on the back that we'll have to pull off that'll stick to the window frame. And then this is the slide that hopefully we have the correct direction that slides it open and closed. I think we actually have the wrong direction one. Oh, wait, no, we don't. It slides this way. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a piece of Velcro right here that'll stick to the blind, and then he's got, been given some screws that'll go in the bottom, so that'll slide back and forth to open and close it. And then, of course, this sticks down low enough. So they have different lengths it's, of the arm. Oh, the arm. Okay, so if we need a longer arm, we can go and order one. Hmm. Their instructions. Th these are the instructions oh. there. I didn't see those. <laughs> I was going to say. I'm just shocked that you're. Very good instructions. I'm just shocked that you're reading the instructions. <clears throat> I mean, the instructions are the complete instructions for if you wanted to replace the window and everything. You can see how you can replace the windows. They look like really good instructions. <clears throat> but since we're not doing that, we're just doing this last essentially two steps. Um, three steps. Step number eight. Before removing the red adhesive liners, practice placing the shutter on clean glass with the closure label on the right side. Set the shutter on the bottom ledge of the glass frame, then rotate to the glass. And then we'll pull off the red dots and stick them up there. <clears throat> Put the control lever in with those screws and washers that were provided. You might want to take those old screws out before we start futzing too much. Yeah, but I wanted to figure out which ones. Yep. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. So that's the bottom, I guess, because it has the Velcro on it. And it just slides open and closed. It's clear Stripe. with little black stripes put on it. That's all it is. It's very ingenious. Yeah. 
great idea. It's a fabulous idea. With the C, the closure label on the right side, set the shutter on the bottom ledge of the frame, then rotate onto the glass. To adhere the shutter to the clear door window, remove the back side of the shutter and the nine red adhesive liners, exposing the adhesive 3M dual lock fastener similar to Velcro, and next set the shutter on the bottom ledge of the frame and rotate onto the glass. So the black is on the inside. The black is on the outside. Because the side that's facing me right now with the red dots goes to the glass. Which means this will, black will be on the inside. So Steve and I have this story about the front of the truck and the back of the truck, which we will talk about in another video. <clears throat> but that I suspect a video of its own. It does. <laughs> I suspect we just said the same thing with two different sets of words. Like this, close the door. The black will be here. Yes. Fit into the glass. Did you clean the glass good? I did. Really good? Yes. That's awesome. I'm so excited about this. I remember hearing that these were difficult to get off. Yeah, one of the videos. I think he had to use a little knife or something to get them off. Fair warning for anybody who's going to do this, it does look like getting a little sharp object like a knife will make that backing, that red backing from each one of those dots peel up a little bit easier. I think the cleaning and the taking of these stickers off the red dots are probably the hardest process of this whole thing it's looking like so far. Because this is an old RV, I hope that getting those two screws off is not going to become a Put it on the correct way. On the right side, yep. Because that's what I would do. I would then turn it upside down and put it on upside down, which is why Steve does this kind of stuff and I do not. Where were the dots again? Feel one there. Feel one there. One there. Got one over here too. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Okay, now which two screws? I'm assuming. I don't see anything where. So this piece will affix to this piece of Velcro, and then those uh -huh. two screws ah, will be removed. Okay. You got it. And then this will. So you could put it here, or you could have it here. There's, there's two options for when you stick it to the window. We'll probably need to close the door and see which one works better for our door. And I'm actually looking at our door right now and thinking we may end up ordering the other one of these with a longer handle. We'll have to see how it plays with the opening of the door here since it is fairly low on this door. Yeah. Where to find mine? These two? Yes. Yeah, because if you measure from here to the... So we're going to have to stick our hand up a little bit to get to this. I didn't think about that when we ordered it, but apparently they sell a longer one of these. Since the two literally is two screws to be removed, if we find we really want it, we can do it. Here's a switch with the screws. All screws, two screws with the washers. Do you want to pull the Velcro off 
the inside of the handle before you put it in on and decide which one you want to put it on before because there's two options. Awesome. Awesome sauce. So let's close the door and see how it fits in here. Oops, you're going to tighten the screws some more. Double check. Yeah. Wow. We're going to need to order that longer one. We didn't think about that because I don't think I can actually reach that under here. I don't know if we could put something on there to make it longer, but that's an easy replacement. So what's nice is now the door is closed. Well, he went into the measurements on that. Look at that. Look how fabulous that looks. I'm so excited about it. You know, you can see some light along the one side as we're inside, but it certainly gives us some privacy. And uh, once we get the right handle on there. So they're calling this one five inch. Okay. I don't know what they're measuring, how they're measuring. Somewhere around there. And what's the other one? You can get uh, several. Okay. Five, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm probably going to need, need the ten. ten. Oh, look, this show you right there how to measure from the bottom of the window down. Oh, okay. Yep, we're going to need the 10. Oh, yep. Okay, that's easy enough to order. The, I think I ordered this on Monday. It came on Saturday. So, you know, it wasn't bad turnaround time. Uh, so I'm excited about it. It really is giving me what I want in the RV, which is the privacy and the ability to open the windows. I'm going to show you what it looks like now with it open and the door closed. So you can see how nice that looks if we need to open it, if we want some light. It looks really good. I'm excited. I'm super excited about this. So Steve got this installation done. I'm looking at the video now. Um, I think it's filming time just to give you an idea how long it took us the video is 57 minutes 20 seconds before i edit it down with oh, a yeah. lot of searching and yeah oh yeah an hour that's not bad no i probably would enough. have taken you more like 30 minutes yeah. if we had gathered all the tools and if we yes, hadn't had such a wd-40 clean yeah. and <laughs> yeah yeah Get, getting it a clean lot of time could be done yeah the, getting it clean before we put it up there especially with the rv being so old yeah. and having so many other things on there really i think slowed us down a little bit finding the right tools finding the ladder so if you have everything ready i mean give yourself an hour but it's not a bad project it was simple enough we did it in our backyard we didn't need power tools thing I would say is if you're thinking about ordering it, go ahead and do that measurement um, from the bottom of your window seal into your door opening from here to here to see how long that is because the standard one is probably meant for a newer RV or a different configuration of the screens. You know, our opening is, our drop is really big Zoom and you can see it. the instructions here if you can see that. Um, you can see that they give you other options and I'm sure this is on the website and I just didn't think to look at it a couple of months ago We installed the new window shade for our RV as you notice The handle here is too short and in the other video which I haven't published it This will just be appended onto the other one um, I said there was a way that you can contact the company and get a better a longer different size handles i think they have three or four different lengths protected them less than a week ago and uh they sent me this cool box box right here and they sent me a new handle with inside of this box should be a return label and we're going to take the old handle off put the new longer handle on i really want to give a shout out to 
the company, yeah, Z-A-R-C-O-R, -R, um, the company that makes this. Their customer service was amazing. I sent an email in the morning, received another one back in the afternoon. They still had my address and they sent me a new one with the return address envelope. So just return the old one, have the correct one, no spare parts laying around. Got it within the week and we're gonna come into the very messy unorganized RV. Steve's gonna carefully open the box. I suspect it'll take him less than five minutes. Probably take longer to open the box. Like I said, I really love a good customer service. I used to do retail. I love it when people are prompt and friendly and Oh, look, now on Facebook, give us a like. We're going to definitely do that because we're going to make a video of this installation and the return. Oh, the label in there too. Oh, the, the return label is kind of cool. It's already, it's already on the box. So you just turn the box the other way and then send it on back. So Stick it back on again. This is Kathy. And this is Steve. And we're Fate, Fortune, and Fun. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if you like what you see. Hit that thumbs up. Thank you.